Hello friends, welcome to this special effects tutorial from Aroha Media. In this assignment, we are going to see another type of waterfall. We are going to use the same methods and techniques to create this waterfall that we used in our earlier waterfall tutorials. Let's begin by drawing a rectangle. Shortcut key R. Select the complete rectangle by using double click and convert it into a symbol. Now delete the outline. In the last tutorial, we used the eraser tool for a particular pattern we wanted on the object. Select the complete object and prepare a duplicate copy by pressing Alt key. Next, place both the copies on each other. Now, by using an eraser tool, erase the inner patches. Please see the video and follow. Next, select the object by combining both the objects and converting them into a symbol. Now place it at the center. Then add one keyframe by using 25th frame and selecting the duplicate window. This will be useful for us. We have seen in the last tutorial that every time it is not needed to get out of the symbol for viewing the results. We can see the results in duplicate window and side by side we can also edit in another window. Now we add a frame on 25th frame. This is the outer portion of the actual symbol which is the main work area. And here we are working inside the symbol. We create motion twin after adding the 25th keyframe. Now create a motion twin by using right click and shift the patch downwards on that keyframe. And now we can see the animation. Now draw a rectangle by adding a new layer which will work as a mask and then preview it to make sure of the result. Now slightly decrease the length up to 20 frames and edit it by using the second window. Next, shift the last key slightly upwards. Preview it. Then we can see that the speed is getting slow. Now we slightly change the position by entering into the symbol and then by using a brush tool we are making some adjustments in the shape. We can observe that there may be some empty spaces that are created. So now fill up those spaces. Preview it. We are observing the same effect here as the waterfall created in the last assignment. There will be difference in the final look of the waterfalls though. Now we add a new layer by entering into a symbol. Next, we go to the bottom portion, draw a circle, shortcut key O and convert it into a symbol. We are doing this on the new layer by entering into a symbol. Delete the outline. We edit the outline of the circle with eraser tool. We are removing the smoothness of it.
Now, we delete the middle area and a circular form is observed here in which we can see slight distortion which we Next, we create one more symbol by entering into a symbol and then we insert a keyframe by using 20th frame shortcut key F6. Then create motion twin and rotate in a clockwise direction that this object will rotate one time in the clockwise direction in 1 to 20 frames. Now we squeeze it by using free transform tool and by pressing alt. Prepare a duplicate copy of it. Next, draw a rectangle by adding a new layer. We edit it by using the selection tool. Now we prepare a corner by pressing Ctrl key and then edit it with the mask. Here also, we can see the patch of equal to mask area. And the same type of patch is visible on the main screen. Now we can see the splashes which are matching with this style. Next we can change the background color to a darker blue and we can see that the water is nicely visible. Now we change the color of the splashes to white and we can see the result here. The result is almost close to the previous waterfall but here we can see a different feel with the water splashes. Now unlock the mask layer as required then put it on the outline mode and now we have to change the shape of the mask. Follow as seen in the video. A keyframe is added on the 20th frame with this mask. Create a shape twin. Now we animate the mask in shape twin and then create shape hints A, B, C, D and place these hints on the first key towards four corners. Go to the 20th frame then match these hints by using four corners as seen in the video. Now we add one new hint E. Initially, we place it near hint A and then go to the 20th frame and place it near hint B. Now a movement is formed here which will be observed in the final animation, which will make our waterfall animation better. We'll get these improvements in different steps. By learning different techniques and using these in different assignments, we can get different effects and thereby achieve different results. By repeating this assignment, we can use the combinations. We can work in a different manner for matching different styles. In this way, we have seen four different types of waterfalls. Using all these types of waterfalls, we have learned to get different results with different techniques of visual effects animations. Thank you.